Have you gotten your hands on a Quest 3 or a Quest 3S recently and you're enjoying the experiences that you're having and you're wondering what else is possible with that headset? Then one of the things that I can't recommend highly enough is that you try PC VR. That's virtual reality that is done through your Quest 3 or Quest 3S headset but connected in some way, either wired or wireless, to a PC. Now don't panic if you're thinking, I, I don't know that my PC is powerful enough, this is gonna to be too complicated, it's gonna to be too hard for me to do. That may not be the case at all. In fact, there are some easy ways that you can try this out very quickly and see if PC VR is even possible for you. I mean, come on, admit it, we want the experiences that we get in and we're fully immersed and the graphics are the best that they can possibly be and experiences that we can't get playing on basically what is an advanced mobile phone processor that is in our Quest headset. Now they're doing brilliant and amazing things with that processor and the developers have created experiences that really blow the lid off of what we used to think was possible with mobile VR but it still pales in comparison what is possible when you also have the power of a full PC behind the graphics. So what I wanna to do today is I just wanna encourage you to try this out for yourself. Now there's a caveat, there's a very important caveat here and this is what it is. If you are prone at all to motion sickness or if sometimes when you're playing certain virtual reality experiences you feel yourself feeling a little queasy or you get a little bit of a headache or things like that, then I would not necessarily recommend trying this out or at least try it on a very small level so if things aren't feeling quite right, you just stop and go, hey, this may not work on my computer. But I recommend giving this a try because, hey, the worst possible thing that can happen is it's not going to run for you. It's not going to run well, or you're going to determine that you have to upgrade your PC a little bit in order to get this to work. But if you have a PC for gaming that you have purchased or built yourself over the last five, six, seven years, there's a good possibility that you will be able to play some PC VR games with your Quest 3 headset right now, and that's exciting and you don't have to purchase any special hardware or software if you have a Wi-Fi 5 or greater router that you have access to, or if you have the Quest Link cable for the Quest or a comparable USB-C cable. That's all you need. Now the first PC VR I ever did, I think I only had a um, an NVIDIA 960 or 970 graphics card in it. I mean, we're going back a ways here. And it would work. I could play certain PC VR games, maybe not on the highest settings by any means, and not at the greatest frame rate, but I was able to play a lot of great PC VR games with that old computer that is now, I think, probably a 12, 13 year old computer, maybe more, uh, with this old 960 or 970 graphics card in it, I was able to play PC VR. You can also do this if you're a Radeon person. I'm not a Radeon person myself, so I'm not gonna tell you kind of what you should start with there. But again, the point here is to try it with whatever you have right now. Don't go out and buy something. You know, Try it with what you have right now and see if it'll even work. So how do you go about doing this? It's a lot simpler than you think. Steam especially has made this very easy. If you're a Steam game player and you have purchased games before on Steam and, and so forth, then it's super easy to get started here. All you do is you install Steam Link. It's a wonderful app that runs on your MetaQuest headset, your Quest 3 or your Quest 3S. It'll even run on the Quest 2, and it will allow you to connect to your PC either with the USB-C cable or with your Wi-Fi 5 or better router and play PC VR games almost with just the click of a button. Setup is incredibly simple. You just install the app on your MetaQuest headset, you launch Steam, you go into your headset and launch that app. It will ask you to connect to the computer, so both your PC and your headset have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, and then you just hit connect and you're all set to go. Then you just pick yourself a game and you give it a try. And I would recommend starting with something that has fairly simple graphics, fairly simple gameplay. You might even have some games in your Steam library that you've purchased before and played on flat screen that might have a VR mode that you could immediately try without even having to purchase a new game. 
There are also mods for games out there that you can run that are free mods that will convert a flat screen game into a really great PC VR experience. A couple of them right off the top of my head that I have done are Deep Rock Galactic, uh, Risk of Rain 2, really wonderful mod there. The game Raft is also a great one, and I've even done things like Valheim and Seven Days to Die using wonderful free VR mods to get them to be able to play through my PC VR with those great graphics. But start with something really simple, a game you maybe already have if it's VR compatible, or get yourself a, a, a simple inexpensive game on Steam to try if you want to, or try one of those mods. Then if that even remotely works for you, now there's you know there's hope. And you probably have a computer sitting right there that will work for you to have these incredible experiences. And then you can introduce yourself into the world of things like Half-Life Alex or the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, the PC VR version, which is still even better looking than the, the very nice looking version that they have on the Quest. The point of this video is to give this a try. So many people think that they can't do it and they might be sitting on a computer that will be fine to do PC VR, at least on a starter level, until you can decide whether you enjoy it enough, you play it enough that you wanna maybe upgrade your graphics card or your processor in order to be able to play some of the more high def, high quality experiences that are out there, or crank up the settings on the things you already play. For example, my favorite thing to do, probably in virtual reality, it's certainly near the top of my list, is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, even with my 4090 graphics card, Card and the decked out computer that I just purchased, it still, I can't run it on the highest settings. I still have to tweak it a little bit in order to get it to run, but it runs beautifully. And if you think you're gonna wait until Microsoft Flight Simulator is available on mobile headsets like the Quest series, you're gonna be waiting a while because I don't know, I, I don't wanna say that'll never happen. I'm sure they'll have maybe a version someday, somehow that'll run on a mobile headset. But I think we're talking easily five to 10 years before something like that is even remotely possible. And even at that point, the PC version of it will always be better. That's the thing. No matter how great mobile VR, standalone VR gets, and Meta is doing amazing things, Pico are doing some wonderful things, and I'm sure there will be some competitors coming down the line. There's word of some other headsets that might be coming. They're doing incredible things, but computers are always going to be better because you don't have to cram so much into that small space. And as mobile devices are getting better, as standalone VR is getting better, PCs are getting better as well, as are those incredible graphics cards. So I just wanted to encourage you to try PC VR. Just try it with what you have. The worst possible thing that can happen is it won't work. But again, don't push it. If you're getting a really low frame rate or it's stuttering and it's just feeling weird, don't push through it because that could make you not feel great, you know, and get a little bit of motion sickness and things like that. But hey, try it out. See, the worst thing that can happen is it's not going to work. My name is Jolly Julian. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. You have no idea how much of a difference that makes to more people like you seeing this video and hopefully it will help them. Also subscribe to this channel if you liked this video at all. Maybe even check out some of my other videos including how to watch Netflix on your uh, Quest 3, Quest 3S, even your Quest 2 uh, without having to have the app or anything and have it be a really nice big screen and pretty darn high quality. I've got a video about that. I've got videos of gameplay, of different accessories for your Quest 3 your Quest 3S and even your Quest 2, check out the channel and see if there are more videos that might help you through this incredible journey you're having in virtual reality. And I hope it's an incredible one. So until the next video, keep VRing in your standalone headset or with PC VR. Catch you on the next one.